pues también aquí en Estados Unidos. Jimmy, you are visiting in Mexico soon. Yeah, my first time in Mexico City on May 3rd for DTU. That's going to be a special time for me, as we were talking about earlier. It will be on the weekend of my 10-year anniversary of my very first match. So it's going to be a special time. I've heard a lot about Crazy Boy. I know he's beloved by the fans there. Uh, Alex Shelley, who's uh, wrestled in Japan, has told me all about him. And El Generico, I'm very familiar with. I've wrestled him numerous times, numerous times. And Violent Jack, clearly violence. And that's what I bring to the table, too. So it'll definitely be an interesting matchup. The Necro Butcher and I are no strangers to each other. And uh, as far as people that are violent goes, Necro Butcher clearly brings that to the table. But despite his size advantage, uh, the reason that I've become such a threat as a wrestler here at Ring of Honor is because of my violence, because I'm not afraid to bleed or make somebody else bleed in the match. I think the people of Mexico can expect the charisma that comes from Jimmy Jacobs. They can definitely expect the violence that comes from Jimmy Jacobs. Amigos de Tercera Caída, estamos ahora con Necro Butcher después de ver su espectacular y brutal enfrentamiento ante Jimmy Jacobs. Necro Butcher, thank you for this talk. Oh, uh, thank you. Hello to all my Mexican fans. I hope to come day see you down there. You are a legend in the extreme wrestling. How do you feel after this match? Uh, right now my back hurts. I don't feel like a legend or nothing. <laughs> But uh, uh, thank you for the compliments. Yeah, I, I try very hard to make the fans happy. I try to tell a good story, you know. Jimmy Jacobs represents a hard guy, you know, a very good wrestler to, to have a very good match. Well, this was, uh, we've been fighting for maybe three or four months. So this was the final match in our series. So we were pulling out all the stops. You know, we, we, we were trying our best to kill the other one. <laughs> Um, I can't get up. <laughs> That's why I'm sitting in this chair talking to you, because I can't stand up. My back is so messed up right now. This, so, so. this weekend is WrestleMania. It's going to be here, here in Houston. Mickey Rourke, the man which you filmed, the wrestler. Do, have you talked with him? Uh, not for a couple months. Uh, he's talking about he, he's, he's going to do Iron, the Iron Man movie. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on after, after that, but it's been a couple months. But he's a real, real nice guy, very professional. Now the fans recognize you more after the wrestler movie? A little bit, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I, I went to Puerto Rico maybe about four weeks ago, and everybody in Puerto Rico knew me <laughs> because of the movie. They liked the movie there. What's the future of Necro Butcher? Maybe Mexico someday? I hope so. I hope so. I, I would love to come down there with uh, Teddy Hart and Jack Evans. They're good friends of mine. I'd love to come down there with them. But anywhere is fine. I would love to go. Like I told you, it doesn't matter, win or lose, Necro. You won the battle, you might even won the war, but you will never, never be the same. This might be it for us, but the damage will live on. Who's next for Jimmy Jacobs? Who's next? May 3rd, in Mexico City, Crazy Boy and El Generico are next to